Wondering when and where will be a good time to buy a home in Florida? Here are four housing market trends to consider, coming up next. Hi everyone, I'm Patricia Sagastuma and I'm a realtor here in the Tampa Bay area. If you're looking to buy or sell a property here, I can certainly help you. And if you like this video, I post videos like this every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to showcase what you can expect for the real estate market in 2021 as we approach the holidays. And there's four market trends that I want to highlight for you. And finally, I'm also going to show you a beautiful home in one area that I'm going to be referring to to in this video. So let's get started. So those four trends, um, I think these four trends you'll be pleasantly surprised. You've kind of heard of, it, heard of it, but let me go over it so that you can kind of just understand the whole broader picture, especially if you're a buyer. What can you expect if you're a buyer? Well, if you're a buyer, you may be experiencing or you already have buyer fatigue. So buyer fatigue has already set in and what has that done to the market? Well, I spoke earlier in previous um, videos about deceleration. Many of you are asking, um, are prices dropping? It's not that prices are dropping, it's just that the rate of increase in prices of homes and properties is not, it's not jumping so high as it was. So let me give you this statistic. So I looked at the MLS today there were 382 homes in Hillsborough County for sale that have been on the market more than 60 days. Now that should give you some idea that um, not all properties are flying off the shelves. Now these homes were not you know what you might think oh nobody wants them. No these were beautiful homes um, and it could have been that just uh, they got the appraisal, the buyers backed out, they didn't qualify if they had a loan or um, it could have been any number of things. But, the, but I wanted to show you that uh, in Hillsborough County alone that we have properties that are hanging on, um, that sellers are going to have to evaluate. Maybe I should lower my price because they're on the market much longer than they anticipated. So with buyer fatigue comes uh, properties are on the market longer and sellers are gonna have to lower them, do something to get their property sold. Um, secondly, if you're thinking about buying a home in Florida, I want to mention to you that so is everyone else. There was a study done by, in this July, by Redfin, a migration study, that the two stop top markets where everyone was uh, migrating to for housing, guess where it was? It was Tampa and Coral, I want to say Coral Springs, Cape Coral, which is near Fort Myers. And if everyone from in the nation, when they did their migration studies, is coming to Florida, that should give you a clue that Florida has really good values, particularly Central Florida. Really good values, more land. It's got a lot of opportunities. A lot of millennials are moving here. There's a lot of tech presence. So it's 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 uh, very very promising. And thirdly, I had I have gone over this. It's more expensive to rent in some areas than to own a property. Um, and I'm only talking about starter homes. Let me give you an example. Um, I had a young woman who wanted to live in Tampa. She's a young professional. It was her starter home. And her main requirement was obviously that she wanted to pay less or about the same in her mortgage than she was in her rent. And the other ones, she wanted a walk-in closet, she wanted a little yard because she had a pet, and she wanted um, a garage. So she had been looking for a long time and I kept sending her and she only wanted Tampa. Well, I sent her a property in Riverview and lo and behold, she saw it, she loved it. Long story short, she ended up buying it. She bought it in January and now by the summer, it's already um, worth easily $10,000 more. So she's very, very happy. And she even told me, why did I think I only wanted to live in Tampa? And that's what um, the lesson is here. If you're wanting to buy, be a little more flexible, especially in this market. If you, It's better to get in and own something than to just be waiting on the side. Maybe a little, a few miles, 10 minutes away um, can make a dramatic difference. It did in her case. Now I want to show you four areas, give you some numbers to give you an idea how the uh, different areas are doing. So three areas are places where you can find good starter homes and the other area is not typically known for starter homes. So I'm going to highlight um, Valrico, Riverview and Brandon. These are communities, cities that are east 
of uh, the downtown Tampa Bay area. So Valrico, uh, the median sale price for a single family home is 422,500 and that represented a, almost a 41% year to date increase in home values. Uh, Riverview, um, the median sale price was 350,000. That's almost a 30% increase year to date in values. Brandon, three, uh, the median sale price for a single family home was 325,000. That's represented 29% uh, year to date increase in value. Now I was mentioning these communities because you can find wonderful um, starter homes for under 300,000. Now Fishhawk and Lithia is not known as an area to find starter homes. The median sale price for a single family home was 435,000. But this is what I want you to know, notice. Year to date, their increase was 6.1% in value uh, in sale price. Um, so whereas the more expensive area, uh, newer area, had less than a double digit increase in value year to date for the month of July. The other areas were way past when the double digit year to date increase in value. So that's kind of interesting. And it kind of supports the idea that a lot of people are moving here uh, to the Tampa Bay area. We have a lot of areas where you can find affordable housing. So that's why um, Tampa Bay has so much to offer. Now I want to, um, now that I mentioned Lithia, I'm going to show you this beautiful home. It's a little more embellished than you will find in some of the homes on the market right now, but it gives you an idea of what kind of home you can find in Fishhawk Trails. This gorgeous four bedroom, three and a half pool home was built in 2002 and is located in the Fishhawk Trails subdivision. This exclusive 24 hour gated community is known for its larger homes and this property stands out for its flowing front and backyard landscaping. This private lot is over half an acre. Listed for 925,000, this home is bright with lots of natural lighting, volume ceilings and windows, along with multiple pocket glass sliders. The four generously sized bedrooms all come with walk-in closets. There's plenty of space with a home office, formal living and dining rooms, plus a great room. The owners added a lot of upgrades with an attention to craftsmanship. There are restoration hardware, light fixtures, plantation shutters, and the floors are oversized porcelain tiles. This single story home comes with a three car garage. There is a gas fireplace, wood beams in the great room, ceiling accents, and a home generator. There are lots of smart home options such as being able to heat up your spa from one's phone. Beyond the screen lanai, the beautiful outdoor kitchen and private backyard offer many enchanting evenings to enjoy. So thank you for watching, staying with me. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And please, if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Until next time, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.